We are in Shibuya neighborhood, Shibuya Crossing to be exact in Tokyo. It's one of the busiest neighborhood in Tokyo. It is Christmas Day and there are this many people on the streets. It is super crowded, lively and vivid. This district is known for its fashion and retails that is mainly targeted towards younger demographics. And we are very excited to explore the neighborhood. Extremely different than any other cities that I've been to, or we have traveled together. Everything about it was different, in a good way for me. First thing that came to your mind when you got out of the airport and the metro, you went to town, saw Tokyo. What was it? Um, well, shortly after, I don't remember what the first thing we would have eaten was, but shortly after we collected a little bit of garbage, my first thought is, <laughs> yeah. where's the garbage can? Uh. <laughs> and then I was like, <laughs> why is the ground so clean, but there is no garbage can? Yeah. And uh, I think after maybe a, a week, we sort of, <laughs> Out, yeah. There's no garbage cans anywhere. Ever. Maybe in the train station, there's like a couple in the bathroom yeah. or something. But generally, you take your garbage home with you. There's so different. So, there's so, so many people. It was kind of bizarre, to be honest. But yeah, yeah, for me, for me, bizarre. But but yeah. A different planet. I loved it there. I loved it there. Like I would definitely go back. Yeah. Definitely go back. Not this time in the winter time. I must say, I would prefer to experience Japan in a milder climate or temperature. But it was fascinating. Like I would go back in heartbeat. So interesting. So interesting. Freaking giant apples that we got. Yeah. And you couldn't touch them, remember? Before like, purchasing them? Yeah, you could, yeah. you just like... They were looking at... Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you, you can't... <laughs> and then they had the strawberries, the giant strawberries that were white, but we didn't get those, but the giant apple, the apple was... Those must be GMO. This big, 100%. <laughs> I think the strawberries were this big. <laughs> but the apples that we got, they were 100% GMO, and they were like this. Yeah. <laughs> Same size as a um, same size as a melon or a honeydew or something like. <laughs> yeah, like a, bigger than your mug almost. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. oh yeah. <laughs> so good, so good. One thing that I would definitely it makes me still upset. Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about is that if you are an architect enthusiast or are into Tedeo Ando, the famous architect, please make sure to check out all the dates and I don't know, opening hours and whatever way ahead of time because a lot of them, the websites are not as great or as easy to navigate through. We went to Throughout Japan, actually, not just Tokyo, we went out to so many Ando's buildings, but they were all closed. Like the only reason for me, for me that I wanted to go to Osaka was to see the Church of Light and that was closed. Like I just witnessed it from, behind, uh, from outside, which I still cannot get over it. But anyway, so I wanted to say that when we went to Roppongi neighborhood, which by the way is kind of, I don't know how to describe it, uh, it, it was newer, like high rises, glass buildings and towers mm. and uh, less traditional Japan, I would say. And yeah. it's apparently their uh, night club 
district and party district. Mm -hmm. We went there during the day, but uh, the sky, uh, the metro station is beautiful. Remember that void in the ceiling with the yeah. natural light coming oh, cool. down and a big the, the big rock. Yeah. yeah, it was beautiful. Uh, I think it's one of the most Instagrammable places yeah. to go. But um, but anyway, so we the metro station was beautiful and somewhat new. We got out to check out Ando's museum, and then yet again, that was closed. My heart was shattered by then. Mm -hmm. Uh, but the walk was beautiful in Roppongi and the nature was serene. Remember, we walked through a park to get to Ando's museum. Mm -hmm. I really liked that neighborhood. Yeah. And it was a beautiful day because it was sunny and crisp. It was very nice, but then Ando museum was closed. So after multiple tries, we, I ended up finally going to... You found the mall in Ginza district that was designed by Ando. Yeah. We went there. It, it was like I wanted to check out his museums and Church of Light, obviously, but... There's a place in Harajuku as well. Harajuku? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when we went there, it was covered in a tarp. Or <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life, huh? Ginza is amazing. Yeah. It was such a nice day when we were in, Gin when we were in Ginza yeah. for the whole day. So nice. So nice. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's a... Neighborhood of like, it's very one of the most expensive neighborhoods in the world, and uh, full of luxurious stores like Dior, uh, all these brands, Dior, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, like all those. Mm -hmm. And the whole district or this strip is full of iconic buildings that were designed by famous architects, like uh, the Todd's building that is designed by Toyo Ito, uh, the mall that was designed by Ando, like all these beautiful luxury designer stores mm -hmm. um i like it's just like it was very nice to walk to walk on that on that strip it yeah. was very nice uh it's very li lively oh yeah everywhere is lively but especially there yeah. but then we ended up walking all the way to the prada store which was designed by herzog and moron uh it's very iconic mm -hmm. and we went in to check it out it was still in ginza district a little bit outside of that main strip i would say but we walked to it yeah if i remember correctly we did yeah it, it was walkable for sure yeah and I, I can go kuma yeah we from there the we wood. went to the wood building yeah 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 yeah. so good mm -hmm. which was very weird yeah i did not understand the purpose of it so for such a just such a crazy building there was a really interesting business to be made <laughs> Free. <laughs> and I couldn't re really understand how they would make any money. And obviously, maybe they do events there and things yeah, like that. They yeah. probably, they would have to do something. And then the capsule hotel was kind of close to Ginza, wasn't it? So it was the first capsule hotel or the idea of capsule hotel, mm -hmm. uh, that building. And it's unfortunately, like I had read about it and um, I knew that it's not being taken care of really, but mm -hmm. I didn't know it's that bad um, until we went and we saw it. So they had all this mesh, kind of, kind of construction mesh um, on the facade because mm -hmm. it could be deteriorating or things falling off, I don't know. And then the inside, um, I think the owner is not like just taking care of it. So the inside is not as nice anymore. Yeah. But we could see pictures, there are pictures online of it, the original kind of capsule idea and the capsule hotel. Mm -hmm. And it was so cool to see the building. Yeah. Like yeah. up close. So cool. Like, like it was fantastic. Like, ah, so good for me. It was so good to see that. So mm -hmm. good to see the capsule, first capsule. I had and this feeling like, I don't know, like I was in Star Wars or some kind of like alien planet and this was like <laughs> one of the older buildings. <laughs> <laughs> because like of this, the round windows yeah and like this yeah, old, yeah. old store underneath and like oh it was so cool it was really cool so cool uh one thing that i just it's just so random that i wanted to mention is the taxis the cabs mm -hmm. that you should not touch the door because they open the door and they close the door for you yeah and they're so clean with the white uh kind of fabric or uh, whatever on the seats yeah so clean and they're all wearing ties it's beautiful yeah that was the only place too that i think if we um like when we are going back it's definitely a good 
a good thing to have your at least basic translation ready of what you want to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like、um, we wanted to go to Tokyo Station, and I remember they were like, "They yeah." That yeah. probably means nothing in、yeah. Japanese like, because like we're in Tokyo, when... and how many stations are there? So true, probably what we said、true. just makes absolutely no sense. Yeah. So,、um, But also, I think even the pronunciation of Tokyo, the the way that we say it, is very wrong in their ear.、Mm-hmm. Like they, like he couldn't even understand us saying Tokyo. Yeah. And then we like we had to write it down、yeah. with Google Translate or whatever. Yeah. So I I had put the address in, and I remember I gave it to him and pressed it, and it was a woman's voice, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Japanese woman, coming out of my hand, telling him where to go, and he's like, Oh, thank you. <laughs> so good though. So good. Yeah. Loved it. Yeah. Oh my God!、On、the vending machines. Going out to、um, to see the snow monkeys. We got, I got a coffee out of this vending machine. I thought it had to be an iced coffee, but it was hot. <laughs> it was like almost too hot to hold. I know. And so the things that are、tea. sort of pink or red are were the hot ones, and the blue ones were the cold ones. And most of the machines had hot and cold together. Oh, so cool! I've never seen anything like that anywhere else in the world. And also in the markets, they had refrigerators that, well, they look like refrigerators, but they're, <laughs> they're <Yeah> . hot. <laughs> <laughs> also, in a, Japan, that a place to almost bring yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, good.、Mm-hmm. so good. So when we were there in the winter, those were so nice to just get this little sort of metal bullet thing、yeah. and just put it in your pocket and hold it for a while, and then later on you drink it. Yeah. It's yeah. like a hand warmer, basically. For sure. Oh yeah, the vending machines were good. Mhm. <laughs> so. While we went to that arcade that you wanted to play, or just experience that you played a couple of games, yeah. So we're standing there, which, by the way, we couldn't take pictures or photos in there or videos in there. And、uh, <laughs> while we were in that thing playing, because、mm-hmm. uh, you had the VR on、yeah. and playing your thing, I was just like standing and looking around, and I just couldn't believe these. Enthusiasts, I would call them. Like,、mm-hmm. oh my god! So there was this guy that was playing that kind of dancing game that you have to you, like. You see the colors on the sc- on the screen, and then、mm-hmm. the floor has the co-、uh, coordinating colors, and you、yeah. have to like step on it、yeah. to play that game. It's a music game, I think. Dance Dance Revolution, I think. Oh, there you go.、Yeah. He was playing solo, and I think he was playing a three people's game. So he was doing a job of three for three people by、mm-hmm. himself. Did you see him? Did I touch, show you? Yeah. Him? Okay, okay, okay. Showed him to you. So he was sweating and wet. Like I swear, if he would take off his shirt and twist it, maybe a liter of sweat will come off of it. Like、mm-hmm. he was into it, and he did not for the entire time that you were inside that thing that playing. He did not even miss one light. Just like per- was perfect score, unbelievable. And、mm-hmm. I think like he plays it probably every day after school or something. I really、yeah. don't know. And then there was a girl across from him playing this other game that she was. I quite couldn't figure out what game it was, or what kind of game it was. Firstly, because I was distracted by the guy doing the dance thing,、mm-hmm. but I also wanted to see what she's up to. And then secondly, because I, I actually have no idea about games and that. Culture, so what it was,、uh, she had a book as if it was a collection of stickers, maybe or cards or something that、mm-hmm. had these characters. The character was a girl, yeah,、um, or a bunch of girls. In this little book, that was hers. I don't think it was from the arcade that like she had purchased it. I think she had collected all those tickets. Yeah, and then she had to do something as she saw those images on the screen. She had to. Quickly flip through her book and find them or something. I couldn't realize, but like,、mm-hmm. how quickly she was looking and going through the pages and doing bunch of things on in the buttons was so fascinating. And I was like,、mm-hmm. whoa! Like, I thought I was good in Mortal Kombat, but I'm no one. <laughs> I am no one <laughs> when it comes to like <laughs> computers and games and video games and arcades. Like nothing. I'm nothing. Fascinating, fascinating.、Yeah. I think mastery of、uh, very specific things,、uh, either in your hobby or in your work life,、mm-hmm. is is a big part of、um, 
some Japanese tradition I've heard. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. you can be working in a restaurant and you're the just master of this one dish. Like you、yeah. make it hundreds of times before you even start to serve it, and you just make it perfectly, and that's what you do. And every day you do this thing, and you are yeah. Like it's absolutely you're right. Extreme, like I just didn't. Almost unimaginable level of discipline. Yes, yes, and they, you like the the, the word master.、Mm-hmm. Like you can't just call anyone a master just because he or she has been doing it for maybe ten years or twenty years.、Mm-hmm. Like it takes another level to be called a master.、Mm-hmm. And、um, you know that workshop that I attended a while ago in Vancouver、um, that there were four. Japanese、uh, craftsmanship and、um, you know artists in a way came to Vancouver and they were having a workshop and they were doing like so a lot of the work that these Japanese do、um, is generational. So like、mm-hmm. the father did that, the grandfather did that, the great grandfather did that, and the, they pass their knowledge and experience through the generations and they take、mm-hmm. pride in saying I'm the fifth generation and they've been doing this. The exact same thing, the exact same method, the exact same material、yeah. for the last five generations. Like, it's unbelievable. And the, the interesting thing is that even even though he's the fifth generation and he's watched his father and he's watched his grandfather doing this, he's still not a master.、Mm-hmm. He has to be in the profession, do this over and over again for I don't know how many number of years it is.、Mm-hmm. To be called master, and that's exactly what you were saying about yeah, like taking it to another level, the master discipline, like doing one thing and perfect it, like、mm-hmm. perfect it, and it's fat. It I love it. The next station is Oimachi. The doors on the right side will open. Please change your for the Tokyo Oimachi line and the Tokyo Rinkai Kosoku Tetsu Rinkai line. I loved Asakusa. Like, I don't know. It, it was like cute, very cute neighborhood.、Mm-hmm. I don't know how to to ex or describe it. It was cute.、Mm-hmm. Like they had the, the older Japan,、mm-hmm. you know, the older Tokyo with the wooden houses and like wooden sliding doors, low rise, obviously like very low building.、Mm-hmm. The ground was red in a lot of the places. Very authentic. And when we when we went on the、uh, rickshaw ride, yeah, oh, the guy pulled. I、us. loved it. Oh, the guy was so friendly. Yeah, and、uh, I think there were twelve raccoon statues on either side in that yeah, one alley,、yeah. and each of the raccoons represented a different type of. Luck that you yeah, can have, or a、yeah. different a different fortune. And、yeah. he stopped at every raccoon and to- he knew, he knew all of them and told us、yeah. about it. That was fun. Yeah,、uh, his English was good. It was really、yeah. good. You can get nice screen. Oh. <laughs> Very popular by women, <laughs> ladies. Long, long life, long life. <laughs>、yes. Yeah, that was good. And then the shrine, the famous shrine. Uh, Sensoji, I think, shrine、yeah. is there with the huge four-meter-long、um, red lantern. Yeah.、Uh, and then remember the food vendors again. Yeah. Ah, so good. So good. They were good. just setting up for New Year's celebration. Yeah. We were walking through, so we、yeah. saw those fish on the sticks. Oh yeah. The poles. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Where, where did we go after that? That we didn't stay for the food there. Um, I don't know, but I. I did we go to Tokyo? Yeah, we went to the Sky Tree. We did. Yeah, so if, okay, when we were in Asakusa, the Sky Tree is a good place to go because it's just maybe two stops away on the subway.、Mm. We are at Tokyo Sky Tree Tower, the third tallest building in the world as of now. And we're gonna go up and explore and see the city from up above. And while it looked close, it really wasn't 
it wasn't walking close. Like I no, think we no, started to walk and we were like, this is actually really far. So yeah, yeah. Maybe it was two two stops away. I think it had its mm -hmm. own station. Mm -hmm. And it was cool. Like I mean, we caught it in a cloudy day, so the view was not clear to see the entire Tokyo or whatever the, mm -hmm. um, the town. But it was it was very interesting. But then for me, when I go to Japan. Like, I wanted to explore other things. I, I wouldn't put that in my must-see places if you have a very limited time in Tokyo, for example. Yeah. Like, I'm like, go explore other neighborhoods. Go, go explore Asakusa, Akihabara, Shinjuku, like, you name it. Mm -hmm. And, it, it, yeah, it's amazing if you have the chance and have the time to go to up that tower. Definitely do that. But I wouldn't necessarily recommend that, like, oh, my God, you must go there when you're in Tokyo. Yeah. I'm like, oh yeah, it's, it's nice if you end up going there. Yeah, my feeling when we were on the sky tree uh, or at the top of the tower was, this is a really nice view, but it's, everything is so interesting up close. Yeah. I was like, I want to go back down there. 100%. <laughs> I kind of felt like I was, that was the only time when we were in Japan, when we were in the sky tree uh, tower, when I kind of felt like removed from everything that was going yeah. on below. Yeah. I sort of felt, mm. I'm just in a tall building. Mm -hmm. And it's obviously extremely touristy. Yeah. Extremely. I think, I think the view definitely would have been good on a nice day, but like you said, it's not... Um, like there, go so if you have time, see. obviously go, but... Yeah. I don't know, in a limited time, I'm like... Because mm. it's so tall, you can actually see it from... Like if you go to Asakusa, you can see it uh, from a distance. Mm -hmm. If you don't have time and you can't go inside and go up or you don't want to wait in line or pay or whatever, the pay wasn't actually like the tickets were not that expensive if I remember correctly. But yeah, but they, they do try to get you on your way in. There's um, so I remember oh, yeah. when you go inside, there's two people that have a small little ticket station mm -hmm. and they sell tickets at an inflated price to bypass the whole line. Mm -hmm. And then from that station, you can see the whole line and the line looks really big. But uh, as being Japanese people, it's very efficient. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, it's very... Yeah, waiting in line is... process, design, no everything is, like... So organized. There were, like, a couple hundred people in the line, and we were in it in, I think, about 12 minutes. Yeah, it was fantastic. Like, we just back and forth, and um, also you can buy the tickets online. Ikigami was a really nice neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, Happy Street was the, oh, cute. the main I sort of street, and yeah. I remember... Um, I'd always heard that Christmas Christmas Day was a big day at KFC mm -hmm. uh, for at least some Japanese people. Yeah, you told me. <laughs> I had never heard that before, but yeah, yeah. Uh, so, of course, we had to go there. And uh, I remember asking for, like, one of the big meals. Like, it was something like some special potato thing and a turkey drumstick and some kind of chicken mm -hmm. thing. They were sold out of everything, and I got the last... The last turkey uh, thigh. <gasps> and it was um, breaded and seasoned, and it was so delicious, and it was so big. Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> but it was like a Christmas Jap Japan Christmas miracle because yeah, I got yeah, the last yeah, one. Yeah. I was so happy to bring it home. <laughs> yeah, I remember. Would you go back to Japan? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. No question. Yeah, no question. But this time I would want to go back. There were when my cousin is there because then we can ask so many questions from him he can ask answer it for us and like kind of get a better understanding of the culture the hobbies the need like everything in general because mm -hmm. as we said earlier we didn't really we didn't really talk to any natives mm -hmm. at all uh, anywhere so we well, Mitsu gave us some Absolutely, yeah, good, yeah. Good, yeah. Good information, but like for at, sure. at the places we went to, we sort of kept to ourselves. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like we were with Misu for only one day, and also there was some language barrier there right there too. Yeah. Uh, her English was really good. Like I'm so glad she gave us the scoop. Really good. Yeah. yeah. But, but like I would tour. want to know more because now that I, I've been there, I have more questions and I also... I learned something, right? So now mm -hmm. I'm like, I know where to keep my eyes open or like yeah. what to do, where to go kind of thing. So I think next time will be better and 
I would definitely want to get some of the questions answered, mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah, cause I'm safe, yeah, cause I'm safe.